I'm going to talk about was Kif. Kif showcased their spring 2022 menswear collection. And much like Noah, it feels like they've kind of fallen off, which is sad to see because I'm a big fan of Kif. I think as a retailer, I think as a brand, I think as a collaborator, they are unparalleled. I think in their ability to, especially the stores, right? Especially the ones around the world, they look incredible, right? Really high attention to detail. And the output is just insane. But there's no denying, similar to Noah, there been there's been way more misses in Kif of recent years than I've ever seen in the entirety of their brand. Now that could be because they've grown too fast. They're kind of spreading themselves too thin. I don't really know, but nothing from Kif is hitting like the way it was hitting in the past. Even their collaborations are a little bit, do you know what I mean? They're kind of on the, they just come and go side of things. They're not really rem memorable moments, I feel like, in sneaker release history, or especially when you do your end of year roundups. You don't see a lot of people putting Kif releases in their year end roundups anymore. Maybe because, you know, they're having issues with getting stock in or whatnot. I don't know, but still it does feel like they're kind of falling off a little bit. And this is another clear example of it. Because I think this would not look, if you told me this was Isabel Mara, like in, in like uh, interpretation of menswear, I wouldn't be surprised. And the problem with Kif at the moment is that the competition is so like stacked at the moment. Two bands that come off the top of my head that are doing great things and varying different, you know, levels. Stussy, of course, since they've kind of re-emerged re -emerged in a scene. And the other one that's really smashing it is Pop Trading Co. You look at those two brands and what they offer in terms of, you know, button-up shirts, down jackets, flannels, cardigans, chinos, jeans, hats, like all the staples that you would kind of think would be in, in needed to have a successful brand, especially in men's or in fashion. They hit those out of the park every season. They'll include a nice little technical jacket or a or a cheeky overcoat or something, right? Really cool stuff in their collection, season in season, especially Stussy. Like their consistency has been crazy good in the last couple of years or the last few years, actually. So you're having to compete with those brands on various different levels in terms of like retail price. And then you've got, you know, Kif getting involved. Then you've got ALD doing their thing also and, you know, incredibly overpriced stuff. I just think if you're going to be that brand, you have to really separate yourself from the rest, like Fear of God style, and maybe even have like a diffusion line or have the main line be really a cut above most of the stuff that you'd see in regular department stores. But if you think that just by, you could just ride the, the, the kind of, off the back of the success of your previous years, considering the level of combat at the moment, I just don't think that's going to happen. And I think, unfortunately, from what we can see so far from Kif here, it just looks like a bit of a mess. Um, everything in general, like especially these kind of, uh, you know, print um, tracksuit things that he's got at the moment. What does that actually look like? Is that flowers and shit? Yeah, it just doesn't look that great, man. It looks really dated. I'm not going to lie. I like this look the best, actually. It's very human-made, capital-looking style. It's basically, what is that? Is that like a denim jacket? What's that called? Is that, like a, is that a chore jacket, I would assume? It's more chore than it is a denim jean jacket. Um, it looks fairly cool. Again, giving me kind of Japanese vibes because of the, um, what you call it, the the editing on the patches and stuff on the pockets and whatnot. And then it looks like they've got a collaboration with Hoka Uneone in terms of the shoes there. So another interesting collab. That's another thing I want to know. If anybody does have information on it, how come Kif get to collaborate with all the sportswear brands but other stores and brands can't do the same thing like sometimes if you work with adidas or you work with nike it basically it ruins your opportunity to work with the competing brand because they might be you know there might be a no and what's that thing called a non-competition clause thing i forgot that name of is it called but basically sometimes if you decide to work for one brand you basically have to decide that's your brand forever there's no real jumping back and forth but for whatever reason kif are allowed to collaborate with everybody for i mean miss was it um uh, a6 new balance nike i don't think they've done it either just yet they got the hockey on it on a um did they do a thing with that with that kangaroo brand uh kimo or kuru whatever that brand was. maybe they have this over there but they've got a lot of collaborations with a lot of different type of um sportswear brands and this i wonder why that's a fact i wonder why that's the case why are they like doing other people aren't but yeah in general the collection is not that great like i said before i think they have fallen off in the same way that Noah's fallen off. Very derivative in terms of the looks. Um, nothing really stands out in terms of wow factor. Maybe some of the shoes, like these wallaby type things are quite nice. That jacket that this lad's got on is looks perfectly decent enough. I guess that might be a five five panel NY hat done in a really classic way. 
I just, I don't know. I just feel, I, I just don't feel anything from this. You don't really get anything from it whatsoever. This look is really nice. Look number 15, the old black look with the little sweat underneath. That's a very nice jacket there, actually. So there, there are some nice pieces here and there. You know, they're not going to not design a nice jacket, especially with these kind of pockets on the outside that everyone's doing at the moment. But in general, like, you know, is that really a look that's worth is that really again look number 17 with the cardigan and the and the button-up shirt underneath and the bucket hat on and the chinos and these weird shoes is that really a look that should with the gloves on i don't think gardening gloves or driving clubs either way lose them is that really a look that you should be um running to kit for if anything it looks it looks a little bit guy in a park creepy with the bucket hat and the glasses but it's just not really hitting do you know what i mean that's the problem with it. It's not really hitting as well as it should do. This is nice. Look number 18. That's very nice. You've got this kind of, um, I want to say, would you say it? quilted, padded, sort of coach jacket style thing going on there. I think that's nice. The combat pants are really nice. That's maybe the best look I've seen out of, the, out of everything, to be honest. I like that look, number 18. But the rest of it is like a bit boring. I'm not going to lie. And maybe it doesn't help too that they've got this model modeling it too he looks he looks a little bit like a fuck boy in it maybe that's the fact to him preening and looking at you with his johnny bravo dimple on his chin maybe that's the fact that's not helping the i don't know he looks cool in the clothes don't get me wrong he looks cool but maybe the fact of his face and whatnot and his poses is not really making it hit the same but i don't think so i just think the clothes aren't that great um you know that yeah that that jacket with those combat pants or those kind of pants styles um is probably the best thing i've seen so far in this collection hands down and that's not even, again, is it something to run to Kif to? Like, come on, man. This is a quintessential festival look, isn't it? It looks like he's designing for kids that are going to go to Glastonbury. Bucket hat, um, shell jacket, side um, side bag, nondescript shorts with pockets near to stick all your cat and your 2CB in, long white socks and trainers. It's typical. Those trainers actually look a little bit like mixes of Harachis, don't they, a little bit? They've got some Harachi kind of-esque feel to them, but... Yeah, or maybe um, Arivi Derchi's, the ETGs with the sock liner in there, maybe. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh, this is a nice look again. There's some good looks in it. Some good looks. There's probably, what have I counted so far? Five good looks, maybe three Pacific items that I would actually have in my wardrobe. But apart from that, it's a bit, a bit sad. Come on, man. You can't be wearing I love ABC top and bottom like this, man. Yeah, it's not the best for me. Personally, I, I don't really rate it too tough. I don't think it's that amazing. I think it's a little bit mediocre. Is that a collaboration with um with Sa with uh Salomon? That'd be interesting. If they end up doing that. So yeah, many, many, many things. Maybe it's a I mean, you know what it also reminds me of a little bit. It reminds me of um it reminds me of kind of garb that you would see somebody from um what's that label called? Kinda of music. This looks like something that Adam Port would wear. This entire this is like an Adam Port wardrobe and um, Riznik or whatever his name is, right? This is like a kind of music wardrobe, head to toe kind of music shit. Maybe that's who did this. Maybe that's his muse, isn't it? But yeah, you can't be wearing an I love ABC hoodie. But yeah, this is nice look as well, the end one. But overall, a little bit disappointed from Kif. Unfortunately, looks like they have fallen off. Um, I guess it happens to most brands, isn't it? You don't stay at the top forever. It is what it is, I guess, isn't it? 